Hey everybody, it's Bill from MattTracker.com, and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Before I jump into the episode, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's you know, going on in the world today. Um, lots of uncertainty, lots of very weird and strange things, and uh, my wife and I have been uh, kind of self-quarantining uh, for a little over a week and a half now. Uh, we're not sick by any means, um, but neither one of us really want to risk uh, bringing home anything that could affect Liam. And I know that it doesn't affect young people, but he's a baby and doesn't really have an immune system yet. So you got to kind of weigh that out. Um, so I've been really careful about that. Um, and I hope you and your family and, you know, friends. I hope they're all okay. I just hope everybody uses their best judgment. They can. Um, what's happening, all the, you know, the, the sanctions that are put in place, the, the mandates, it's a lot. It's a lot to process, a lot to take in. It's hurting a lot of people. Um, but I don't see any other way to try to quell this. Um, and I just hope that, I hope that, you know, the people that are out there on the front lines with this, the, you know, the doctors, the nurses, the, the you know, the ambulance drivers, uh, uh, people that are working at supermarkets, uh, kind of a weird story about that too in a second. Um, and there's tons more, but just be safe, <clears throat> use your best judgment, and, you know, the world will keep moving. It's just a matter of when, I guess, right? Um, I've been working remotely. Uh, it's been great, except for the fact that everybody else is doing it too, so it makes it a little harder. Um, I have to support that that uh, buildup of uh, remote staff, and it's a new thing for them. It's a new thing for a lot of people, so it makes it a little harder. It makes it a little challenging. Um, it said that luckily some people can still keep working. Some people can't. Um, hopefully whatever whatever the Senate and Congress and everything passes helps alleviate some of those um, those issues. I'm by means no expert at any of this stuff, but I just see what's going on and I just hope for the best for everyone, um, no matter what that is. And to go back to the supermarket story, um, I was there kind of before, uh, I think New Jersey put out the mandate Saturday. That's where I live, New Jersey. I'm right outside of Philadelphia. Um, and they put out the mandate to stay at home Saturday for non-essential everything. But they're non-essential. That's just kind of weird. Um, but before then, I went to the grocery store, and um, there was... And I, I didn't ask anybody, but I'm almost positive they had infrared cameras in the aisles. Um, if anybody knows if that's true or not, like, do other stores do that? Um, I think they detect fevers. It's smart thinking. It just, it was very unnerving. Um, but smart. Um, so if you have any stories you want to share, let me know here. Um, but that's not what this episode's about, naturally. This episode is about me trying to actually do a little bit better at the mask games that are out from the Commodore 64. Uh, the last episode, I completed Mask 3, which is my favorite out of the three games, except for the fact that the music in the beginning is awful, and then there's no music at all. But that's going to be a normal routine that we're going to see. Uh, you'll have sound effects, but very little to no music. Um, the first Mask game, it's an overhead kind of feel to it, and there's four levels, as you can see here. This is the opening screen, by the way. Um, it kicks into like something a little bit more elaborate, but this is it right here. It's um, brown and yellow. So uh, I don't remember Commodore when I was younger. I didn't have it. Uh, I think my first experience with anything electronic like that would have been the Atari 2600. Um, so I don't know if this was a common thing for the earlier games, but you can see that it's majestic. Um, and I'm not going to pick this apart. 
I did it in the last episode. I want to try to play the game and talk to you about masks as I'm doing it. So I'm going to pick um, level one. And if I remember correctly on this game, I don't think there's actually a way to beat the level. I think you have to go back and pick the level again. So there'll be a brief pause as I get bored of a level, essentially. Um, there's not a lot of playthroughs or walkthroughs on this. And I'm pretty sure that's the way you have to do it. So let's see what we got. Level one. Of course, it would help if I had my keyboard there. There we go. So, this is an emulator. I do own the game. It's back there. Oh, by the way, you might have noticed that the back's a little different here. Um, I'm going to do a live stream uh, pretty soon, and we'll go over what I did in here. I kind of rearranged the, the mask room um, through the... Uh, phone through the <laughs> through the um being stuck inside essentially so yeah so we'll do we'll do a live stream soon i'll announce it on the on the channels um then we'll just kind of go over it what i did in here talk mask hang out try to get through all this stuff together let's try to get through this now the beginning of it played a little bit but i want to keep it going because i picked the part the Mask 3 theme because it had nothing to do with Mask. It was just some garbled mess. And I did post the opening to our YouTube channel, so if you want to listen to it, you can. And it's almost entirety. I, it had a weird loop. But don't do it unless you really want to hurt yourself. But let's listen to this one. A lot better than the other one. Um, they used this one for the first game and the second game. But again, not the third. I don't know why. <clears throat> so let's go start the game up here. Alright, you I gotta if you look away if you have whatever that uh, what is it? Epilepsy? I don't I don't know what the term is. Sorry if that offended anybody. It's magnificent, isn't it? All right, so here we are. Um, I'm not there yet. And there I am. So my understanding of this game is that you only get to be Matt Tracker inside Thunderhawk. And you pick up these weird things. I don't know what they do. I think they're parts of a key you have to get. I think the keys actually let you get through the level. But some of it's not... And there's Boulder Hill. It's a pretty nice rendition of it. Here's some tanks. All right, let's kill some stuff. Oh, what was that? So that's a cool little picture. See, when I played this first time, I don't know what you're supposed to do here. You can't pick them up, so it's just showing you like the person. Um, his code name's Magic. I don't know if that's true. So there's a vampire. Uh, let's see if I can get him. No, he's gone. Alright. There he is. Oh, he just, he just exploded all by himself. Gotta change his ground a little bit. These controls are so hard. He's dead again. Alright. Oh. So apparently he multiplies. That's nice. Um, Alright, so I'm at the bottom of the level. Uh, what's that? It's a bomb. See, I don't know how to like switch to anything either. That's that's another thing. There's only so many buttons you can press. And Boulder Hill only has two gas pumps, not three. It's inaccurate. I didn't even notice it the first time. How dare I give it praise? Oh, it's an oil drum. All right. Um. Yeah, a lot of generic, a lot of generic vehicles here. I guess these are just like the venom agents. 
And I don't know if you actually have any worse. Can I just run into them and kill them? Kind of reminds me. I, I, I think I need the bomb for here. See if I can hit a button to figure this out here. I'm using a controller, but it also works with you know, the. So I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I just shoot it until it blows up. Or did I do something else? Did I select the bomb? I'll have to go back on the replay or not. Alright. Oh. Legend of Zelda level right there. Oh. Yeah. Actually intense. Jesus. Alright, made it through that. Um so picking up little kits to like, you know, help heal the car. I don't there's a key. I don't know how to bring up the key screen. Let me see if I can figure that out too. Not really figuring that out. Alright. Um, I mean, I can't fault the landscape. It looks fine. Uh, I kind of wish there was a different color other than purple that might have been used for this. I don't think you can go in these doors or not. I don't think you can. Uh, make sure I didn't miss anything down here. Because I came up through that rock boulder tunnel. Um, so there's probably something down here that's important. Like that thing. I can just turn and hit it. Yeah, it was key, so that's good I came back. Alright. Let's see what we got. What's this? Alright, so... Is that... Is that me now? Like, what am I... What am I doing here? What do I do? <laughs> there we go. Hope I don't turn the game off by accident. That would suck. I don't know. If I picked it up. I didn't pick up Brusado though earlier. What was that? What the hell was that? Drop a key. Uh, six. I don't know what just happened there. Now, I remember, remember the switchblade would come up in this sometimes too. Um, I haven't seen me yet though. I'm seeing a bunch of generic tanks right now. Uh, what do I got here? Anything over here? It's a good bridge. Good bridge. And this is why I kind of want to like go back because I could be sitting here for like 20 hours trying to figure out how to. Whatever the hell a key goes to. But I want to show you the level a little bit more detail. Um, it's just a shame that it's... You know. It is what it is, right? So I'm going to pause it here. And let's look at level 2. Ah. The... Dinosaurs? Take that fluid, Malloy. I'm assuming that's you. Somehow your vampire is as big as Thunderhawk. Uh, I came through there. Ah, oh, I just drive over the water. Do I drive up the water? That'd be weird. Yes. Uh... 
Don't use a path, just use water. Science. This is actually a lot harder than it looks to try to traverse. I don't I don't see any pathway. Um, oh, those are the things I'm supposed to pick up. Oh, I can get through that. I just couldn't get through it the other way. Wow, but I went backwards. I just missed like 10 things. Am, am I... Am I... Flying? Right now? How am I fighting? That's why I couldn't go up, because I have to go down. Oh, that was Jacques Lafleur. Let's take stop. Take a look at that. Get back over, you bastard! Well, I only get to go over Jacques once. The controls are awful. If I haven't said that already, um, the turning radius is just—you can see it. That's a nice uh, rendition of Jacques. And his mask, kind of like that. Let's keep going south. I'm fighting. No, oh, I can't go any more south. Okay. Uh, um, what were those things? Did I hit those. Let's go hit them anyway. Oh, more keys. All right. So I'm guessing I have to use a bomb somewhere. And apparently, I'm being damaged. Huh. Um, yeah, that, that happened. Um, it was level two. As you can see, it turns into a, uh, you know, a nice little fever dream. Um, on to level three. I didn't really feel like fighting dinosaurs anyway. It was weird. They helped me, Dinosaur Boy in the episode. Come on, guys. Level three. Here we go. that? Can I drive over this stuff? Is that thing coming after me again? What is it? Uh, Alright, I'm going up. Uh, I can drive over water, but that little handrail right there will stop me dead in my tracks. That adds up. Um... What do you suppose that is? Is that stiletto? I gotta be able to go over something here. What's going on? Missing something. Um. Oh, it actually worked. I put a bomb. <laughs> I put a bomb there. I was just randomly guessing. There's Julio Lopez. Um, 
it's a, you know, it's, the streamer mask looks great. Hopefully it looks a little off, but again, it's Commodore 64. Can't really fault it. Um, got some Contra looking stuff happening here. Uh, uh, key, another bomb. What the hell is that? I don't know what that was. I, I'm trying to think of what that could have been. Um, I'm guessing I have to blow up here. What is that? Nope, that didn't work. Can I pick up another bomb? Nope. Jeez. Alright. There. It's a weird dynamic of this game. Okay. Um. It. <laughs> part, so part, part of this is like, like the lack of music makes it very, like, odd. No, what is that? Go away. Scary. Um, oh, I'm out of bombs. Oh, that thing shoots mines at me. Whatever the hell it was. I'm definitely not completing this game. That's for damn sure. Oh, God, are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. I, I, there's, there's, <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. If I can fly, you know, drive on water, why can't I just drive on the scenery? Where's more scenery I can drive on? Hold on. See, I gotta get this thing here. Another key. That's good. Please leave me alone, whatever you are. Can't go in there. Pretty much what I learned is I have to drive on everything in order to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Damn. I kind of feel like I have to blow up that ground. That's what it's saying to me anyway. Um. Alright, let me go back down to see if there's any of that scenery that I can drive on down here. Um, some more stilettos after me. Nope. No scenery. And I'm stuck. So you know what that means. Level 4. There we go, level 4. There's Easton. One thing that emulated game was this necessary to pull this in? I, I just don't know. I'm just kind of looking at the area to see if I can like drive right over the trees. I'm thinking that's what's going to happen anyway. Um, so I'm going to try that first. It might look silly, but just trust me. Nope, didn't work. All right. More generic tank. He's there. Actually, you know what I think you have to do with the keys? I think you have to get them all and then go back to that circle. And that completes the level. But you know what? I'm not doing it that way. Which one was this? Give me it. 
Alright. Floyd Malloy must have really been in Mayhem's favor here. You know what's weird though too? I mean, out of everything you could pick from, using Vampire was kind of an odd choice. Um, get down there, bastard. Oh, no, I won't get it. Wonder the Asian will be here. Drop a key. Don't care. Alright, so I chose to try driving over that. It didn't work. So let me... Oh, let me drive it down here. Yeah, there you go. It's a bridge. That actually makes sense. It lays out correctly. Uh, nope. Maybe one day if I have the patience, I'll actually try to complete this game. Um, but not today. Dropping a lot of keys here. Imagine the pitch meeting. You're like, hey, let's make a, a really cool action game about vehicles that transform, and let's make it about picking up and dropping keys. I'm getting shot to hell right now, too. Um, geez. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. I want, to find, I want to find the agent. I gotta save him. No, that wasn't the right way. I'm just assuming that I'm saving him. I, I, I actually don't know. Um, ooh, that was... That was unexpected. Like his, like his coat. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't want to save him. Stupid ass there. What is happening? What is this? Am I supposed to... Is this like a Contra thing here? I mean, obviously that was the end, but... No, 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 don't get it! That was close. I just remembered it was Scott to, uh... Um, I want to go back to that. I'm going to try to kill it, and if I die, I die. It sends you back a level, too. That's nah, just back to the beginning. I thought it sent me back a level. Well, that's as far as I'm getting. Um, it's not a it's not a terrible game, it's just it functionally the the mash games didn't really get a lot of really good time and development to them. Um, this one here kind of feels like it was something else. I don't feel like this was an actual mask game. I think they changed the sprite through the mask logo or the mask stuff on there in the, in the MIDI. You kind of just went with it, essentially. But if you've ever played this game, if you own the game, if you have questions about it, let me know. Um, it's probably be the last time I try to play it, unless I really feel like punishing myself and try to actually figure out the game. But until next time, it's Bill from MattTracker.com, and I'll talk to you later.